Aaron, we wait for Aaron Carr to get us the thumbs up. Um, you know, I think Mount Olive presented a different sort of challenge tonight. Um, they have a different rhythm type of serving team. And we had, uh, I think we kind of got a little stubborn and said, well, we're not going to change what we do just because you're doing what you do. And, and uh, they took advantage of it. Um, you know, seven aces against us on balls that probably were very intelligently placed versus just going up and ripping. Um, but I thought once we settled down with our first contacts and uh, our offense got in gear, especially at the end of every game, I thought we just we just sharpened up and really really asserted ourselves. So it was a good thing. They made us play, and I think that's what we want at this time of year. We just talked to visiting coach, and he said how for them being able to come here and play you is obviously kind of an honor, an opportunity for them. What's it do for you guys to play a team like that? Well, it's a different team. It's a, you know, the, you look at you look at Pfeiffer last night and compare them to Mount Olive tonight. Mount Olive's offense was much quicker. They stayed in system, even if the pass pulled the setter to 15 feet or so. So it presented our block with a little bit more of a, of a challenge than, say, last night's match did. Um, and I just think they, they played hard. Uh, their Libro had an outstanding game tonight. Uh, made a couple covers off of stuff. We should have had about four or five more stuff blocks. And he just made some great plays, dug some tough balls in there. And I think over the course of the match, you, you expect them to probably give you some easy points and, and it happened but not because they were doing that all match long. That's going to be a good team. If David keeps moving them in the right direction, if they get the support that they deserve from their institution, uh, it's going to be nice to have somebody that far south and you know, spring break when it's March and blustery up here, we can go down to North Carolina and just kind of hang out there and play some good volleyball. On the weekend, double-digit service aces for the team. You said it last night about serving as a weapon for the team, but would you agree again tonight that was a factor? Yeah, I, I think what it did is it kept them off the net. You know, their their middles ended up with what? Uh, Hess only had seven swings, and where's 20? Uh, Becky only had 14 swings in, in a three-game match that was, you know, past 20 for both teams. Really limited what they could do. And over the, like I said, over the course of the match, it just wears down. And, we were able to stuff some balls and force them into some hitting situations that we can take advantage of. I'll ask this question to you, you first, Coach, and then I'll go to you three guys. How were you guys able to – they kept coming back and getting either ahead of you or would get tied with you. How were you able to fend them off tonight? Well, I just think that's the nature of the game. Uh, you know, you're going to be in rally score, you're going to be close. Uh, it's probably more the exception than the rule – where you see leads of seven, eight, nine points develop. And I've said it before, I don't care what team you play, they have big boys that can swing at the ball well. And certainly, you know, number nine, Daesh can swing at the ball well. Miracle can take a good swing. And you get live arms, and they're going to score points for their team. So, you know, you just you want to make sure you're close enough that you can make a run. And with our serving, whether it, you know, whether it be Turco or um, Nick or Peter or Aaron, somebody's going to get on a run with their serves, and if we're close, it's going to that could be the difference. Kind of the same thing to you guys from a player standpoint. How are you able to hold them off? I mean, I think they're just a great team. They bring a lot of things that we don't see playing, like the EIVA. They just have a different style of playing, so uh, they bring a lot of fire. But we have the edge of competitiveness, competitiveness, competitiveness. I feel like so it's just that. Like, one step up that we have on them to always fire back at their final game. I thought they played really well. They served the ball really well and got us in trouble. But I think we ultimately were able to score points in transition, and that's what we've been working on in practice. And I think it really showed. Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think the big thing is just staying steady. You know, um, one thing that, that the coaches always emphasize is just you know stringing together plays of being of, of just good plays instead of trying to be great sometimes. And you know, the nature of the game is is it's going to be a battle. You know. Um, you know, it's going to get tied up, you know, especially even, even late in games and stuff. But, you know, ultimately the team that's going to win is the team that's going to be good more, and, and I think we did a good job of staying steady. And Coach, you used um, 
January Volleyball as sort of a euphemism for saying that the team wasn't quite at, at its peak yet. Uh, now that the calendar has changed... Um, you only use January Volleyball. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, so, to this point, how do you think the team has progressed? What's, like, your, what's I, your prediction I, for... I, I like the way our volleyball. offense is... You saw longer stretches of our offense playing at its pace right now. We're, we're right on schedule. I mean, uh, that's... In, in my career here, this has been about the time where things start to settle in, the guys start to understand the ebbs and flows of their daily grind, and, you know, especially with the first-year setter. Taylor's trying to figure things out, too. So uh, we're right on schedule. Nick, we saw a little bit more of you than we have so far this season tonight, obviously with your uh, match high kills, but just in two sets. How are you feeling coming back into the season, kind of having a breakout evening, if you will? Uh, I mean, I love getting on the court. I feel, I mean, everyone else says, like, before the serve, everyone talks about serious plays. It's like what we have to watch for, and I'm just... I feel like I'm the kind of guy that just cracks jokes and everyone just gets a smile. It's just like one sense of like relief or something. So I, I don't know. I feel like that's what I bring to the court. And then, but not like tonight, it's just like no matter who it is, it could be Peter, Turco, Cypher, Tommy, like anyone can have their night to go off. Luck of the draw for me. As far as energy goes, you said kind of firing back and obviously noticed, you know, the couple solo blocks you had kind of like a big stare down. You would go back and look at them across the court, kind of like, well, got you back. What kind of what does that do to your game? Kind of when another team is so loud, so energetic that you do that back. Uh, I love it. I like that's the kind of moxie I have. It's like I, I'd rather play away anytime. Just uh, hear their fans, hear their team be so much louder. Just, I feel like it just brings so much more energy to both teams and makes the level of play rise.